Hey everyone, welcome back. So this video is actually for a swap that I did with Angie Statler. Um, she has a YouTube channel and she is pretty well known in the wax community, I would think. She's definitely been in it a lot longer than I have. Um, but with the last Vintage Chic Sense opening, and you probably, if you watched that video, that haul video, I mentioned it there, but I had purchased two of the Blossom Bouquet samplers and I had originally intended on keeping them for myself, but then I think the next day, Angie posted on one of the groups um, if anyone would be willing to do a swap with her if they had an extra one. And so I commented, yeah, I figured, you know, I didn't need to have two. And after I had bought two, I was kind of like, why did I buy two, you know? Because um, I think we all get kind of caught up in the excitement of buying things. And when it was like, you can buy no more than two. For some reason that was kind of like well I have to buy two then because that's all I can buy I don't know it's I'm sure you guys do the same thing I hope I hope I'm not the only crazy person like that so when she posted that like I was more than happy to do a swap um, with her for that so um, so what I have here is the items that she sent me I hope I'm not missing anything because I actually started melting some of the stuff um, but I think I got everything and then because I received this box last week I think so I've had this for a while um, and the card I think it got thrown away she sent me a nice thank you card but um, my cleaning person came and I had a bunch of papers on my sofa and I don't know where they went so either they got tucked away somewhere and I the card is with it or something so um, I don't know where it went but I will go ahead and jump in and show you everything I got so I was so super excited to see this in there and Angie told me she was going to send some non-waxy things, but this is a gift card to Starbucks. So um, I was super excited to get this because I had posted, so she must have remembered because I think I posted one time how I was in line at Starbucks waiting to get a coffee. So love, love, love Starbucks. So yay for that. That's so awesome, Angie. Thank you. She also sent me a bag of Skittles, which I thought was super sweet. I do enjoy munching on candy every once in a while. I try not to, but it happens. And then a cute little um, pocket back in pink chiffon, which I love the scent. It smells so good. Mm. And I love using these for when I'm traveling or like gone for like a day or a weekend or something because they're so handy to have. And then I think this is one of those like, it's a chopstick. It's like the, um, it's a little egg. What is that kind called? There's a certain brand that I buy from Target. Um, I think this is like the Walgreens version. And I haven't opened it. Oh, it's strawberry. Oh my goodness. And she knows I love strawberry, I'm sure, because I talk about it all the time on my videos. If it'll focus. So I haven't opened it yet because I was trying to resist um, so I could film this video just because I've been so behind. So I'm going to try and open it real quick. And I'm using my teeth, which you should not do. That's so bad. Um, so, yeah, twist. Oh my god, this smells good. Hmm. <laughs> It smells like a fresh picked strawberry. Yay! That is cool. Mmm. And it tastes good too. <laughs> oh my god, that tastes good. I'm not supposed to eat it, but <laughs> anyhow, so those are some of the fun non-waxy things. And then for the waxy things, so um she sent me a couple items from Daphne's, which is super cool because I know Daphne's is not gonna be around much longer. It's uh pink vanilla butter lemon cookies, which is amazing. Um, I have a bag of this from, she must have got this from her mystery box because that's what I got it from too. Oh, it smells so good. So, so good. So I'm, I am always happy to have more. It's funny because I actually sent her a chunk muffin from Daphne's. Um, and then this is pink sherbet waffle cone, which this is one that I melted one already because it's a four pack and there's only three. And oh, it actually split open. But this is so good. You actually get more of the sherbet and the waffle cone from this. The pink sugar is pretty mild considering. And then also from Daphne's is a fluted heart, fluted, sorry, piped heart in mango sorbet serendipity. Oh, that smells awesome. I don't know if I have this one. I don't remember it, but oh my goodness, it smells so good. I love serendipity and that mango sorbet just smells so good one with it. I got that and then she sent me some rose girls which yay I'm pretty sure anyone who ever swaps with Angie probably is gonna get their hands on some rose girls 
Um, so this is sweet strawberry wine, which is something, and it's one of the, the pipe tarts. That I have not heard of um, from them, but it's so good. It's like a strawberry note, but it literally, it smells like a sweet wine. Like you can smell, I don't know, like kind of like that. It gets you in the nose and it's different. Um, really excited to try that. That's something different. And then also from Rose Girls, she sent me a chunk in Sweet Lemon Confection, Pink Sugar, and Pink Lady. I do not know the scent description for Pink Lady, but I know their Sweet Lemon Confection is amazing. Oh, that's super good. To me, it reminds me of like a fresh tart, like lemon juice mixed with sugar. Oh, that's so good. And you get the pink sugar too. So I definitely swell, swell, <laughs> smell the lemon confection and the pink sugar. Um, I don't really know what the pink lady scent is. And then I got this is Kaylin's Berry Patch. Nice, good sized chunk in that. Oh, that smells so good. So that smells like a raspberry. I want to say raspberry and strawberry. And that strawberry... This reminds me of something else I've smelled. What does it remind me of? Oh my goodness. That's bugging me. It smells like something else I've smelled from another vendor. But it's so good. Oh my goodness. It's just sweet and berries. And kind of has a little bit of like a sweet green note or something to it. Um, also from Rose Girls is Manic Mario Madness. This is one of their newer scent blends. I do not know what's in it. Or I don't know what the set description is off the top of my head. And I smell... <laughs> this is... When you don't know the scent description, you're testing your ability to point things out, right? Or place scents. So is it blueberry, maybe? It's like... It smells sweet and bakery and fruity. Like, it definitely smells like it has a bakery note to it. That's really good. Very, very good. No, I think there's apple in that too. Um, spring fling, which this is another one I do not know the scent description, but I will tell you what I smell. Is that an apple? See, now I'm going to think everything smells like apple. This smells like a sweet apple or... No, this is like honeydew, like a melon. Oh my goodness. My nose is off. I do know I'm not smelling the same right now because my nose has is having issues. I can smell, but things are smelling a little different. No, that's melon. Like, cantaloupe, watermelon, honeydew, I don't know. It's melony. It smells really good. And another chunk in Summer Lovin'. Again, do not know the scent description, but it's all fruity. Ooh, that smells really good. Oh, that is sweet and fruity. What exactly? It has kind of a little bit of like a perfume or floral note to it. It smells really good. I don't know exactly what it is, but really, really good. And then she sent me a chunk from Sniff My Tarts. This is Cotton Candy, Rainbow, Sherbet, and Sweet Cream. Which sounds really good. Mm, you definitely get the Rainbow Sherbet and the Sweet Cream. For some reason, it smells like there's a little bit of a bakery note. I don't know if that's a Rainbow Sherbet. Maybe that's like Sweet Cream. It smells really good. And then the cotton candy must just be sweet in there. So that, I don't know, I'm just putting stuff wherever right now. Um, and then another vendor I've never tried that she included in here. Um, well, not another one. This is the first one of a vendor I haven't tried. Uh, cotton candy frosted blue ribbon cookie. And so I've heard definitely on this long came primitive. I've heard about their blue ribbon cookies. So I'm super excited to try this one. But it is like cotton candy and frosting. That smells really good. It smells like a... It kind of reminds me of a little bit of a bread note. Like a sugar cookie bread note or something. But it smells really good. So super excited to melt that. And then I got one item. Let's see if that old label will show up. This is from Gourmet Soy Online, I guess. Oh, sugar and spice gourmet soy, soy candles. There you go. Sugar and spice. And this is vanilla butter zucchini bread. So this definitely smells like vanilla and butter and zucchini bread. That's exactly what it smells like. That is a very good name for it. 
Um, so excited to try that. And then she sent me this mini pie. It is from Scent Illusion. And the scents are Melon, Serendipity, Vanilla, Coconut, Noel. And this smells amazing. Oh my goodness. I smelled it already once. Oh, that's so good. Like the melon mixed with the serendipity is such a good blend. And I pick up on more of the coconut too because that's in the serendipity plus there's the vanilla coconut noel. I don't really smell vanilla on cold. Or, and the vanilla bean noel is not standing out. Or maybe the vanilla coconut noel means instead of bean they say coconut. So it's just supposed to be vanilla bean noel, not vanilla separate from that. But you guys know what I mean. And then she sent me a bunch of scent shots from Lasting Scent Candles. And some of them, um, she sent me two of the same scent, which is kind of cool because if you like it, then you can melt it twice. Um, this first one is Crimson Apple. And this is a company I've never tried, so I'm super excited to try and get these. And these are super oily on top, if you can see that. But this smells like a fresh apple, like a red apple. The like apple orchard. <laughs> So I'm going to push this stuff back. So I got two of those. And then I got two of something called Pink Fantasy. I do not know what's in this. These are soft. These cups are getting soft. I don't know if it's from the oil. It smells like pink sugar and bread. That's what it smells like to me. I don't know if there's supposed to be something else in it or not. But that is what I'm picking up, and I got two of those. And then, okay, um, I can barely read that. Snickle Fritz. I do not have any clue what's in that. It smells like, um, like butterscotch or toffee, like super buttery and sweet and creamy. These are super oily. And she sent me two of these. And then I'm just trying to make sure if I have them all together. Okay. Um, toffee bark. So that's more like butterscotch. I think this toffee bark then is toffee. Yeah. Although they're pretty similar. Oh, I want to take a bite out of it. It smells very like, very, very, very authentic. Yeah, they totally smell like if you took a bite out of them, they would taste like that. But I don't think they would, so... I am not about to try them. Okay. Then, oops, that's upside down. This next one is Sweet Pink. So I imagine it's going to have pink sugar in it. Ah, it smells really fruity. Um, on cold, I'm not picking up pink sugar that I can tell. It smells like, it smells like chapstick. Like a sweet, fruity chapstick. But it smells really good. I mean, not like waxy chapstick, but it reminds me of like a chapstick I think I had as a kid. Oh, it's bubblegum. That's what it is. It's bubblegum. <laughs> I'm like, what is that scent? It's bubblegum. I can't tell if there's something else in there, um, but definitely bubblegum. And then the next one is Summertime Blues. Okay, this next one is Summertime Blues. That got, my last video got cut off, so this is going to be a little choppy, but um, this definitely smells like blueberry. Maybe there's another fruit in here, but I'm mostly getting blueberry. So I'm super excited to melt some of this lasting scent candles since I've never tried them before. Um, and I hear nothing but great things. And this one is pineapple Danish. So I'm not a huge fan of pineapple generally. Um, oh, this is sticking to the lid. This is super soft. It smells like a very sweet pineapple. Like I wouldn't call it authentic pineapple. It doesn't smell like tart fresh pineapple. It's like a sweet candy pineapple. It smells good. I don't know that this one might be a little strong for me like on the pineapple but it smells really good so I'll probably try it. Um, lemon heaven. I love lemon so I don't know what the heaven part is but let's try and open that. Mm, that smells really good. Super tart strong lemon. That's really, really nice. 
Okay, so that's all the lasting scent candles. And then the last item is a scent shop from Vintage Chic Scents. Um, this is Ruby Slippers, and this is a ruby red grapefruit scent. Um, I love this scent. I do have a blossom bag in it. Oh, it's amazing. It is an awesome, awesome scent. So always happy to have more. Oh, so good. Oh, yum, yum, yum. Anyhow, so this is everything that I got. It's so much fun doing swaps. Um, so thank you so much, Angie. This is awesome. Um, very much appreciated and all the extra little goodies and I need to make sure I stick that Starbucks gift card in my wallet so I can use it. Um, so thanks again, hon. I had a lot of fun doing this and maybe we get to do it sometime again in the future. And thanks everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Bye.